Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, a disorder that blocks airflow and makes it difficult to breathe, affects millions of people worldwide. Despite the fact that the disease is common, there is very little known about the cellular biology of the disease and how some patients develop it. Now, a team at the University of Pennsylvania in the US have discovered a new type of cell that resides deep within human lungs, which may play a key role in human lung diseases. In this video, I talk about this newly discovered cell and why researchers think it is linked to COPD. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. COPD typically features progressive damage to and loss of alveoli. The alveoli are where the lungs and the blood exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide during the process of breathing in and breathing out. Loss of alveoli then accelerates chronic inflammation. The disease is usually caused by long-term exposure to irritant gases or particulate matter, most often from cigarette smoke. People with COPD are at increased risk of developing heart disease, lung cancer and a variety of other conditions. Patients of COPD are often prescribed steroid or anti-inflammatory drugs along with oxygen therapy, but these treatments can only slow the disease process rather than stopping or curing it. One reason that the understanding of COPD has been limited is because the lungs of mice, the standard lab animals used to study these diseases, lack some of the key features of human lungs. For the study, scientists from the University of Pennsylvania were examining gene activity signatures of lung cells sampled from healthy human donors. They found these new types of cells, which they call respiratory airway secretory cells, that do not exist in mouse lung cells. The cells line tiny airway branches deep in the lungs and near the alveoli structures where oxygen is exchanged with carbon dioxide. The scientists showed that these cells have stem cell-like properties. Stem cells are cells which have the potential to develop into many different types of cells in the body. They serve as the repair system for the body. The newly discovered RASCs helped regenerate other cells that are essential for the normal functioning of alveoli. The cells produce proteins needed for the fluid lining of the airway. The team also found evidence that cigarette smoking can disrupt its regenerative functions. Moreover, COPD was also linked with such disruption, hinting that targeting these cells could pave the way to treat COPD. While studying the gene activity of the cells, the team realized that there were significant similarities between RASCs and the important cells in alveoli called the AT2 cells. AT2 cells are a major lung cell type that help maintain homeostasis in the alveolar region of the lung. Homeostasis is any self-regulating process by which an organism tends to maintain stability while adjusting to conditions that are best for its survival. If homeostasis is successful, life continues. What AT2 does is that it secretes surfactant to control the surface tension in the alveoli and AT2 cells serve as stem cells harboring the potential to self-renew and differentiate into AT1 cells. 81 cells are large cells that cover 95% of the alveolar surface area, preventing the fluid from filling into air sacs of the lungs. The team found that the newly discovered RASCs, in addition to their protein secretory function, serve as predecessors for 82 cells, regenerating them to maintain the 82 population and keep alveoli healthy. 82 cells are known to become abnormal in COPD and other lung diseases and researchers found evidence that defects in these cells might be the cause of those abnormalities. In lung tissue from people with COPD as well as from people without COPD who have history of smoking, they observed many 82 cells that were altered in a way that hinted at faulty RASC to 82 transformation. These images show that RASCs transition into alveolar type 2 cells in culture. Although more research is needed, the finding point to the possibility of future COPD treatments that work by restoring the normal RASC to 82 differentiation process or even by replenishing the normal RASC population in damaged lungs. 
The study describing the findings have been published in the journal Nature, the link to which you can find in the description.